All right, so I have some graph paper here. There are several different coordinate systems. You get to learn about Cartesian, you will use different coordinate systems. And often in engineering, we'll change coordinate systems to make the math easier. So this is the first one everybody learns because it's the easiest one to, to do. And then, um, then you get, everyone see point number A? It's right there. So what I want is I want to pinpoint this in space where I know for sure A could be here. So on a map, you'll have latitude and longitude, right? And if you have coordinates, you, you can tell me exactly where you are. And if you're in New York or whether you're in uh, Tokyo or something, that will nail down a spot. On a sheet of paper, we do it with the X, Y coordinate system. You can have X up here and Y over here, it doesn't matter. But for just beginners, which is us right now, on the horizontal line, I want an X. And on the vertical line, I want a Y. I want an X and a Y. And it looks like this. This is a special dot right here. This is called the origin, or O-R-I-G-I-N, okay? All right, and that's a place where they cross. I'm going to say, all right, if I give you the coordinate points, three comma four, this is X and this is Y, and this is important. <laughs> the hardest part about co graphing coordinates is remembering which one comes first. So we always, we start at the origin, and we always graph the X first. This is in the positive three direction. Both of these numbers are positive, so we're gonna go that direction. So go one, two, three, make yourself three tick marks, okay? And then, so it's somewhere on this line. We don't know exactly where, but X could be anywhere on this line because it's over three. And then, you see we have a four here. This is a positive, so four, so we're gonna go up. We're gonna go one, two, three, four. So don't worry about making the little boxes and stuff like you see back here, okay? Just do it like this on your paper, okay? And then it's right there. So Y could be anywhere on this line because this is one, two, three, four. And then if we find where they cross, it's only one place. This is, I'm gonna call this point A, for example. This is gonna be A. That's it. That's the whole lesson right there, done. <laughs> All right, so how about we, we do a little bit more? Okay, so on the same piece of paper, I'm gonna say, can you plot me minus four comma two? Minus four, ooh, what does that mean? All right, so just as I can go plus one, plus two, plus three, I can go minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, as many as you want, I can go that way. That's on the X, and on the Y, this would be minus one, minus two, minus three, okay? So always start at the origin. To the right is positive and up is positive, okay? To the left is negative and down is negative. People are asking, can you switch those? Um, yes, but that's something you'll do in college, so don't worry about that right now. For now, we need a standard way to talk about things, okay, without getting all fancy. All right, so positive. So this coordinate here, if you plot something here, it's always going to be positive because it's going to be positive x, positive y, and it's always going to wind up in this quadrant. Yeah? All right, so let's see. Negative 4, negative 2. I'm sorry, negative 4, positive 2. So negative 4, so you start at the origin. This is x, and this is y. 1, 2, oh, wait, wait, sorry. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. And then keep your pencil there, and now go up 2. 1, 2. So that's... Let me make it more clear. Okay, it's right where they intersect. So this is negative four in the X, positive two in the Y, one, two. So this part right here, we'll call this point B. All right, are you seeing how this works? Give me a little smile so I know we didn't lose anybody yet. Okay, we're good? Oh, good, look at that smile. Okay, okay, I want you to tell me the coordinates of A. Okay, so tell me the coordinates of A. This is one, two. Okay, so we're, we go over two, and then how many do we go up? One, two, three, four. So how do we write A? So it's X first, okay, so it's X comma Y. X is always first. So it's two comma, and then how high do we go up? One, two, three, four. Good? Okay, I know it's a little blurry for some of you. I know, I know, okay. All right, but just, Stick with me here, stick with me, all right? So for B, B is on this, right? So let's see what that looks like. So let's go over, okay? So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. So we went six in this direction. So is that plus or minus? Okay, what do you think? Six in this direction, so this is a minus six. Okay. How much in the Y do we go up or down? Zero. So B is going to be minus six comma zero. 
Good. And it looks like the camera's a little jumpy. Let me fix that. Thank you for letting me know. Hang on a second. There you go. Okay. All right, so let's try another one. How about I? I is right there at the origin. What do you think the coordinates for I is? Something at the origin. How much do we go in the X? <laughs> Zero. How much do we go in the Y? Zero. The origin is easy. Yeah, and we actually use that when we want to solve for equations. We usually try the origin first. Good. Solve for solutions. Okay, let's try another one. Um, how about H? Let's see how far H is. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, okay. So it's six here, So and it's zero in the Y. So what would you say the coordinates of H are? It's going to be a positive six. Okay, and then zero. Do you see how it's different than B? So it's positive but it didn't get itself off the x-axis, right? Because the y-coordinate is zero. Good. All right, um, which one do you want me to find? Okay, I'll do two more. Tell me which ones you're interested in me doing. Okay, type it in. Which one do you want me to do? You want me to do f? Okay, I can do f. All right, so f, is it gonna be plus, minus? What do you think? Okay, so f is gonna be right here. So this is one, two, three, four, this is five in the X, so we're gonna write that down. And then how high do we go up? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's five comma nine. Good, E, lots of people want E. Okay, let's do E. E is going to be, this is six, seven, eight. Okay, so this is eight here. And this one went down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this here is a seven. So how would you write that? So E is going to be X first, which is I go over, I start at the origin, and I go over 8, and then I go down 7. So is it plus or minus 7? Which one? Yeah, it's a minus, isn't it? Okay, because this is positive Y. Okay, and I will give you a hint. Anytime you see the X and Y here, X and Y, this is indicating positive Y. So you know positive Y is in this direction where you see the label Y, and you see the label X. It's telling you that's positive. 